Carro. Hello, my Gemini friends, it's Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your August reading for what spirit wants you to know and what superpower that you're going to embrace this month. Because these cards are all about soul interaction and it's all about you stepping into the trueness of where the divine wants you to head for you. I can't get it. Why can't I get it? Because it's slippery. It's stuck together. Okay, you can't quite grasp something. There's something going on where everything is kind of muddled. It's like one thing is stuck to the other. You can't separate the differences. Not, people might sit down and do a pros and a cons list, but there's something where you can't separate uh, the emotion from the thought. It's like uh, I can't separate the intuitive moments from the emotion. I can't separate the feelings from the intuitive, from the emotion. There's something that you're having an issue with separating. Visualize, visualize it all into being about what you wanna manifest in this world. This is a number eight, reduces to an eight, 17. Something could happen for you by the 17th of August. This is, this is a beautiful card because it's about visualizing what you want to bring it into action. So let's see where the divine is heading you. Where's the divine taking you towards? What's the potentiality Ooh, of all of this? Security, flexibility, purification, going forward, and protection. So you're divinely protected as you move forward, but you're not feeling like you're secure. It's upside down. You're not feeling like you've got a secure home base and the divine wants you to visualize your, your heart's, okay, your heart's not secure. Your heart doesn't feel secure. I think you've been in a situation for quite some time, possibly not in love necessarily, but in job or, or spiritual attunement or whichever, where there's been somebody who's had absolutely zero flexibility. I, I think they've been to a certain extent, you feel berating you. Maybe it's you who's berating you and not understanding and seeing the beauty that you are. It's leaving with you, you with a sense of lack of security here. All right, so let's look at the visualize. But this card's up, right? So we've got some manifesting abilities going on here. So that's beautiful. Let's read this one. Card number 17. I almost turned right to it. Wow. Okay, visualize. Let's read this. If you can dream it, you can create it. Your imagination is a magical superpower that develops the content, look, and feel of your life. You can use your inner vision to maintain and transform anything in your life. Visualizations help us to create a dream life without the perceived boundaries of the manifested world. To take your dreams out into the world, recall your vision of them as you meditate. Let the dream become a feeling that leads to a knowing that is so deeply ingrained it will become an automatic response. Through repetition, this response gains momentum toward the tipping point between vision and manifestation. Now that you are privy to the universal law, relax and enjoy the journey toward your desires. When a desire manifests in the physical life, a new desire will be born. Oh, I've turned too many pages. Way too many. Wow, you guys may be trying to jump ahead in manifestation. Or something where the divine, this is why you're not feeling secure is because you're trying to jump forward. When a desire manifests in your physical life, a new desire will be born in your imagination and a fresh path will unfold. Draw or write about three desires you have not thought were previously possible. You know what you want, for you know yourself the best. You just didn't know how your desire would arrive. And this caused these dreams to end up in the shadows, struggling to see the light of day. Wow. So there's dreams that you've had and things going on in your life and not feeling secure, whether it's you or otherwise or other people. That's up to you how it resonates. So here we're going to pull how the universe is trying to teach you and how the universe has your back. And here we're going to pull how it is that you're going to manifest that or what you're feeling upended about in your manifestations. All right. Understanding that visualization is huge. Now this fell out sideways. So 
not completely in reverse. I am the loving energy of the universe. I think you're coming into awareness of that. But there's something about this crossing your, your energy of feeling secure. If you are the loving energy of the universe, can anything harm you? Everything is working out in perfect divine timing as the universe sets it out to be. So coming into visualizing you are, but this is how the divine is helping you and has your back, trying to help you see that you are love. You don't have to be love. You don't have to look for love. You don't have to absorb love or find it in some magical place. You simply are love and you are loved. Just FYI. Let's read the security card. I forgot to do that. I'll hold it upright so you can see its beauty. Firelit Cave. In ancient times, our ferrers took refuge in caves. It was there that they could seek shelter from the weather and be protected from predators and enemies. The cave offered a safe place to pre prepare food, sleep, heal, and build community. Caves were also the place where sacred spiritual ceremonies occurred, evidenced by cave drawings and altars that have been built along the ledges. Symbolically, caves often represented a secret pathway to the underworld, the divine womb of Mother Earth, and the sacred heart. Also, caves have caves can be energy portals for shamans and other spiritual explorers. You are safe and protected. No matter what is occurring in your life, you are in safe hands. Those in the realm of spirit are watching over you. You can relax and let go. Once you've taken measures to protect yourself and those you love, such as making sure everyone has their seatbelt on in the car, making sure your insurance is paid on time, or replace the filter in your heating unit, then let go. If you have been hyper vigilant lately, take a break, relax. Know that all is well. You can turn it all over to the creator. This is about visualizing a release of the need to control. That's what this is. The need to control things and asking, just uh, not even asking, maybe asking, trusting the divine that all things are well. Asking the divine to come in and show you, give you a sense of calm. Asking the angels to come give you a sense of calm to prove to you that all is well. So something here is hiding in the midst, but you understand this energy, but it's it's something that's been been hidden due to this lack of security. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So if you're not feeling secure, then that's why. That's exactly why. If you're not feeling happy and secure, there's a lack of faith in the universe. And I think you've come into understanding about that. But I don't know that you know how to move forward and change that. Change the fact that you need to be happier. And there's something about you visualizing this happiness and your security moving forward that's going to help you. So let's find out how to manifest this. How do my Gemini friends manifest this? How do my Gemini friends manifest this forward? What's their best trajectory to manifest this beautiful visualization of their security I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. So I don't think you're believing that, yeah, your level of faith in the universe. I don't believe, think that you believe that there's the universe is there helping you. I think you feel like you're going it alone. This, there's something about you've been berated or you've been berating yourself or someone around you. Their energy is completely, oh my goodness, that's all I can say. And I feel that you have a sense that the divine has left you. That they're not there. That there's... I, I just want to cry. They... You... I, hmm. You feel that there is no protection from the divine. I, I think that you know the divine has your back. But at times in order to manifest this, we got to turn this upright. So there actually is a belief and that you are in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to you, but not necessarily believing that you can step into or, or hear that guidance from the divine. Or is that guidance even from the divine? Or is it in my own thoughts? Is it, what is it? My poor Gemini friends. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. So if there's a lack of faith in the universe and not believing the universe has you, that's why this would be upside down. 
There's no trust. You don't believe that your powerful intentions have anything to do with reality or your vision coming to life. That's why you're feeling a lack of security here. A lack of the divine having your back. Let's pull tarot on this. Whoa. Yeah, I got broken heart, ten of pentacles, and two of cups. So someone's had a lot of uh, heartbreak around love and money. Uh, not just love and money, but heartbreak. Could be that the person berating you is a is a spouse or but you stay with them because of money but there's a pain involved in staying and it makes you feel insecure perhaps this insecurity is or the lack of security that you feel makes you feel safe in some sort of way because it's what you're used to i'm not sure you'll have to take that as it resonates my happiness is a direct reflection of the level of faith in the universe holding on tight holding back not allowing yourself to step into true happiness. There's something blocking you here. We have the crown chakra blocked, we have the heart chakra blocked, and we have the chakras at your feet blocked. About where you're standing, you don't, it's like where you stand in this world, there's an energetic block there as to understand why you're even here, what your purpose is to do. Am I here to be someone's lackey for the rest of my days? That's what I'm hearing. So we have the moon card. There's more going on here than meets the eye. Is something about a soul lesson? Here we have someone taking a break or a holiday. I think you really need to get away from whatever energy this is. Yes, because it's causing sadness and regret. There's The thing is, though, it's such mixed energy. My poor Gemini friend, you must feel like you're thrown topsy-turvy constantly. It's like one minute, it's like love is there, and the next minute... It's like the mind is there and it takes over with a story that turns all of the positive that could be into absolute shit show. So we have your cups are spilled, not seeing the beauty in the situation. I think it's because there's so much pain and you feel, I think someone here, whoever this is for, not everybody, feels abandoned by the divine in some sort of way. Someone giving too much of their time, money and effort to help someone else become better. And there needs to be balance here. When do you put time, effort, and, and energy into your life becoming better, into building your own security, your own path forward, building your own uh, amounts of success that you can pass on to your family to feel good about? Balance in your emotions, finding this balance, it's absolutely a destined thing, a soul thing that you're going through to find balance and understanding that your emotions, your happiness, all of that definitely is in direct correlation. Even your security is in direct correlation to your level of faith in the divine. I want to turn this upside down because I have so much faith in you guys. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith, powerful intentions here, to, to balance the emotions and the finances and, and do the, the work, the spiritual journey, combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become reality. I'm leaving that upright because that's how I believe in you guys this month. That's what I believe is coming your way. And this is the struggle you have in manifesting the security you desire. But look what's coming. A beautiful little offer. There's There could be... Uh, a younger human being in your life that is going to offer you just a tidbit morsel of information. It's a brand new start. It could be about a way for you to take this insecurity and turn it to the security you desire. What a beautiful reading. You guys, I just looked at the clock and it was 1332. So that's four, five, that's a nine. It's about the ending to bring about the beginning. What are you unpacking in your life about who you are, where you've been, what it is you're trying to move forward to be has definitely got to do with your security in this world. I love you guys. I hope this resonates and I'll talk to you again. Oh, by the way, your superpower this month is how you visualize you have a beautiful way of imagining and visualizing. Now, if you can combine this visualizing with faith, with a little bit of faith in the divine, watch mountains fall at your feet, my friends. Watch mountains fall at your feet. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I'll talk to you again. Blessings.